Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and I thought I'd bring you guys a little Emma Frost gameplay today. This is the team we're going to be running with you guys. We're going to be using Colson for his, <clears throat> excuse me, tier 2 passive, which increases damage dealt to supervillain types by 45%, increases guaranteed critical rate by 20%, and we're going to be using Ancient One for his sweet little leadership here, which increases 45% increase to energy attack, as well as his tier 2 passive which increases damage to all element damage by 20%. So increases Emma's damage by another 25%, which is a total of 70%. Pretty sweet. Now let's take a look at good old Emma. Now my Emma's built pretty good, you guys. She's ranked 269 in the world. She has 35,000 energy attack. She has almost max attack speed, 55 crit rate, 162 critical damage, almost max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. She has her first and last gear are 25. She has all five star Urus. All of her skills are at six. And she has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. She also has a mind damage with lightning damage, which is useless with her, and 180% proc, which is pretty decent. So it's a decent obelisk, guys. Uh, her uniform is at Mythic. And I have all the unis for the most part. Yandu here, Shuri, terrific uni, should have that one. Groot, good uni. Medusa, sweet uni here. And Cyclops, which is actually a pretty good uni. Now guys, I'm always like, you know, actually let's look at something. There's something I want to show you guys real quick. Something that makes this girl really, really, I mean there's a lot of things that makes her pretty sweet. But this three right here. Super armor, all defense by 30% for 10 seconds. Summons an illusion. Decreases all damage received by 85% for 10 seconds, guys. That is insane. It pretty well makes this girl pretty much a tank. Which is why we're going to be able to take this girl into good old GBR. And then we're going to take her into stage 50 Ebony. And let's see how she does. Let's rock and roll. So let's get it done. Now we just gotta wait on old Master Mold to show up here. And guys, you know, normally I'd always bring a debuff in here, but because of that decrease all damage received by 85% that she has, you can keep it up for the whole time you're going through your skill rotations, she can take a hell of a hit. So we're gonna risk it. Screw it. Now let's see who we got running over here. Whoa, we got a tier 3 Thor. Okay, nice. And <laughs> we got another Emma, that's cool. Cable and Strive. Woo! Some powerhouses there. Okay, all right. We'll see, man. I don't know. Uh, Emma's pretty freaking strong, guys, but taking down Cable or Strife, yeah. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see, we'll see. Depends on how well they got their uh, Strife and Cables built. Even Thor, man. Whew. Some powerhouses. So I got a feeling this probably won't last so long. Oh, crap, man. I shouldn't have done that. Went over there. And that's why you should have a debuff, guys. <laughs> I just got feared. But, oh, well. Like I said, she can take a hell of a hit. So she's all right. I might have to switch my character, though, because she's, uh, she's lost half her life. She's hanging in there. She's hanging in there. This guy's using his cable. He is pouring it on. Look at that. He's pouring it on, man. Ooh. Let's take a look. Okay, so right now I'm winning the battle of damage. I don't know. I'm going to have to switch my character, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to hurt me. I don't think I'm going to win this one, you guys. But hey, that's all good. It's kind of nice to have some help for once. <laughs> Seems like most of the time whenever, uh, you know, you're coming in here and you're playing GBR, it seems like, you know, you're the one doing most of the damage. I mean, yeah, look, I don't care if people leech off me. It doesn't bother me, but it's kind of nice to be leeching off someone else a little bit. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, this guy's definitely doing it. Man, it's a hell of a tight run, but Cable's just, you ain't, ain't going to mess with old Cable. <laughs> I mean, he's, uh, he's pretty mean, so... Yeah, this guy must have him built pretty good, because he's not even using any support, so. Man, she's 
but she can hang in there guys. I've used her many times in GBR and she would freaking clear this thing all by herself. She doesn't need anyone. The girl is super strong. I feel like I feel like she got kind of crapped on a lot, you guys, because of the way she was brought into the game, all the crystals you gotta pay to buy her. It just sucks, man, because she's such a beloved character and Net Marvel just had to throw her in the game the way they did, which really freaking sucks. Because, like I said, man, she's a beloved character. All right, yeah, I gotta beat me, man. Not by much, though. Not by much. That's that's not too bad for old Emma. Not too bad at all. All right, so let's see how she does in good old Ebony. Now, a lot of people tell me that Emma can't clear stage 50 Ebony, and I think, what? Uh, yes, she can. <laughs> yes, she can. So we're gonna we're gonna prove that, guys. She can definitely do this. I mean, you're gonna have to have strikers, but stage 50, you're gonna have to have strikers for pretty much anybody, guys. I'd say Scarlet's about the only one that could probably pull that off without strikers. But, I mean, she's she's pretty bonkers. And a little tidbit with her, guys. If you do have her, you know, when you're playing her, you know, you'll hit the three and you'll cancel in the five, and if and then cancel in the four. So it's three, five, four. And if that proc comes on that four, if it comes late on the four, the next time you proc on the 4, let the 5 play out a little bit and then hit the 4. So if you'll notice when you're watching my gameplay, I'll kind of let the 5 hit a couple times and then I'll hit the 4 a lot of times. And that, almost, that pretty much almost ensures that my proc will hit on the 4. You want that proc at the very beginning of the 4 skill. But something else that's awesome about her is her movement speed. She's really fast. You know, of course the beautiful animations, but Emma's really, she's pretty hoss, you guys. She's pretty hoss. I I really like her. Like I said before, it just sucks the way Netmarble brought her in the game. A lot of people don't really, I don't think it's that they don't like her. I think they just don't like the fact that they got, that she's expensive. And she is, she is, you know. I Honestly, I don't really recommend her to anybody unless they got some crystals that they're willing to spare and... I mean that's I mean I don't I understand why people don't have her. It's it's I get it. But but and I'm just sad for all you guys that don't have her because she's freaking awesome. And if you guys are noticing I got good old invisible woman in here striking. Watch how many times invisible woman will strike for me. That girl comes in left and right in charming old ebony. It makes the world of difference because Emma has a lot of DPS. I've scored, like I said, I've scored 2.1 million in ABX with this girl. She's got a lot of DPS, you guys. But Ebony iframes all the freaking time. Little pecker head is hard to get a hold of sometimes. So if you're able to mind control him, charm him, lock him down, man, you can tear his butt up, which is what we want to do. I got me a little heels in there too, as insurance. And something else that's cool about this team is Ancient One, speaking of the heels, you know, if you uh, feel like you're losing your life, you bring Ancient One in there, switch to Ancient One, use this five skill, get out that heel, switch back to Emma, Emma um, switch back to Emma, and then get in that bubble, and then heal right back up. I might have to do it, we'll see. But she's tearing his freaking butt up right now, guys. We're doing pretty good on time. Not too bad at all. And remember, she's only got a 180 proc. She is well built. You know, I, I can't deny that. She's definitely well built. But she's doing pretty good. She's not better than Psylocke, but she's still pretty freaking strong and pretty freaking awesome, especially for this stage. Or especially for Ebony is what I should say. Yeah, we're, uh, we're about to keel over here. <laughs> <laughs> we might, I might have to switch out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, I had to switch there. I was going to die. So now we're going to get out at the old bubble here. We're going to hit the four for the invincibility, then the five. Get them heals out. We're going to switch to Emma and start getting them heals. Look at that, guys. Whoa, whoa, get out of there. Get out, get out of there. And see something else about Ancient One's heal. That bubble stays out for a long time. Almost got, almost filled up complete life, guys. Pretty sweet. 
He ain't to one, man. He's a valuable asset, that's for sure. Especially with elemental characters. Ah, oh, crap, I got freaking stunned there. Come on, buddy. Now, we're pushing it a little bit, you guys. But, if you know, I'm not using the purple. I'm letting the strikers come in as they may. But I'm not using the purple. And I'm not going to either. Now, just to let you guys know, this isn't my world boss today. I'm still trying to get them freaking speed books. So, I, I'll take them down as far as I can. And then we'll cut her to an end. She can definitely do this, you guys. Definitely. Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she could have cleared this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.